Welcome to Nicholas Lemnex 12. Today I'm once again going to take a look at another all-in-one liquid cooling solution. This time around the Cryorg A80 hybrid liquid cooler. The term hybrid may sound new to you in this category of CPU coolers. In this case it means a special small fan is placed onto the pump unit that takes care of additionally cooling components surrounding the CPU to combine the best of both worlds, water and air cooling. As you may know, I've already tested a very similar product, in fact, of the same exact lineup by Cryorg, the A40 Ultimate, which did exceptionally well in my review. Altogether, there are three different versions of these A-series coolers available. The standard A40, the A40 Ultimate, as well as this A80. The differences between these models are the radiator sizes and the thickness of those. The A40s both feature 240mm radiators, whereas the A80 comes with a 280mm one. Compared to the a40 Ultimate that I've tested, the A80 has a bigger but thinner radiator. We'll see how much of a difference that makes in this review today. The A80 currently costs somewhere around 130 to 150 US dollars, which seems competitive to me. Big thanks go out to Cryorg for sending me this liquid cooler to review. In the box, the AIO cooler itself with pre-applied thermal paste, two 140mm fans, the so-called airflow fan that goes onto the pump unit and makes this whole thing hybrid, 70mm, and of course included are all the back plates, brackets, screws, the insulation guide and what not. All the parts are out of metal by the way. The A80 truly is a beautiful cooling unit with radiator dimensions of 311 by 140 by 27.5mm. A high-end 200 180mm aluminum radiator here with a nice matte black paint finish to it. Cryorg includes two of their QF140 performance fans which as we're used to are fairly well built and are equipped with rubber pads to help reduce vibration noise. The QF140 performance obviously are 140mm fans that spin at about 600 to 1850 RPM, feature a 13 to 38 decibel noise level and allow for an airflow of up to 128 CFM. The cables are nylon sleeved. Cryorg equips their A series of coolers with 350mm long rubber tubing with a tube diameter of 10mm. The tubes seem to be of high quality but cannot be adjusted in angle since they go straight into the pump unit. The pump is based on Acetex Gen 5 pump with certain changes to further increase performance while still maintaining a low noise level. In terms of aesthetics, the pump unit may not meet everyone's taste with that more industrial look to it since it's definitely not as elegant as certain designs of other liquid coolers, but the pump serves a very practical purpose besides its main function. That being allowing to easily, without any hassle, install and or remove the airflow fan. That fan can be installed either in a push or pull orientation depending on what exactly you want to cool. Hot components such as overclocked RAM maybe, graphics cards or most likely voltage regulators DVRM to improve one's system stability and prolong its lifespan. The fan does require a bit of force until it slides in, but once it's in there and plugged into the pump's fan port, you're ready to rock. The airflow fan is a 70mm fan, fan speed 1500 to 3000 rpm, noise level 15 to 27 decibels and airflow 25 CFM. To power up the pump, an auxiliary SATA power connection is required. The two main fans plug in directly into the pump's Y headers. With the PWM cable that connects to the motherboard CPU fan header, the pump speed can easily be controlled. To keep everything as neat looking as possible, all the cables are kept in black. Thermal paste is pre-applied on the cold plate copper base. As one would expect, the A80 is compatible with all the relevant CPU sockets, such as currently the latest Intel LJ1151, LJ2011, as well as AMD's AIM3 Plus and FM2 Plus. When it comes down to looks, that's always a thing of preference. Cryorg's trying to be innovative here and obviously focuses more on functionality more than anything else, judging by the pump's aesthetics. I will admit, although I usually prefer something a bit more elegant, it's a beautiful liquid cooler nonetheless. I do prefer to look without the airflow fan sitting on the pump though. Installing this A80 unit onto my test bench, just as with the A40 Ultimate, is extremely easy, fast and hassle-free. The parts are all out of metal by the way, which definitely leads to a feeling of robustness. Now let's put this A80 to the test and see how well it manages to take care of my overclocked Intel i7-4770K CPU. The cat 
Alright, so indeed there is a noticeable difference between Cryorx A80 and A40 Ultimate. The difference in my test of course is not that big, but in general, the higher the heat output of the processor, the bigger the gap gets. So ultimately, paying the premium here over the A40 Ultimate could definitely get you more cooling performance. Altogether, I'm really really impressed by Cryorx CPU coolers, especially their liquid coolers. They seem to be doing it alright by offering us, consumers, great cooling performance at good reasonable prices compared to the offered performance. Something that cannot be said about certain other AIO units in the market, such as Corsair's H105. Although before Cryorx coolers hit the market, it all seemed fine. The A80, just like the A40 Ultimate I've tested, aren't to be considered loud, at least to me, although these units are a bit louder than most other liquid coolers, since we're plugging in one additional fan, that being the airflow fan, surprisingly very quiet by the way, directly into the pump that not only controls the airflow fan, but the two main 140mm fans too, simply because the pump gets connected to the CPU fan header of the motherboard. So with some tweaking you could easily achieve results to your liking. The end result is a quiet liquid cooler, the pump remained almost dead silent the whole time. As most of you know, liquid coolers do actually come with a disadvantage compared to air coolers. That's because there's no active cooling going on in the CPU socket area. To fix that issue and allow the user to get the best of both worlds, Cryorg invented their so-called airflow fan that simply sits on a pump unit. With my beefy motherboard with exceptionally big VRM heatsinks, the difference isn't that big of course, but I did end up with a bit lower temperatures nonetheless, thanks to the airflow fan. The A80 impressed me just as much as the A40 Ultimate did, and Cryorg Cryorg, in my opinion, currently seems to be the leading CPU cooler manufacturer. With their high quality standard and good pricing, they really set the bar high. I tried finding something negative to say about this cooling unit, just to spice things up a bit here, but for 2016, the A80 pretty much is pure perfection when it comes to liquid coolers in my opinion. Therefore, I'd definitely recommend this Cryorg A80 hybrid liquid cooler. Needless to say, gold award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.